What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at the best sword that's currently available inside Season of the Worthy. There were some massive changes made this season and swords have come to the forefront. So if you're looking to deliver insane DPS, then this will be the video for you. Now, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here, want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Prior to the launch of Season of the Worthy, we were informed of some sweeping changes coming to Swords. So and when you look at the seasonal artifact, there are many sword mods available, showing that this is the season where swords become their own. Now, over the years, we've had many swords introduced with Destiny 2, some exotic and some legendary, and we've even covered a few on this channel way back when. And even back then, swords were very strong, but even more so now with the changes that have been made to the game. Now, with the Grandmaster Nightfall quickly approaching, we've covered some high resistance builds recently here on the channel. And weapons like swords complement high resistance builds very well and allow you to deal immense amounts of DPS in short spaces of time. And it's with that in mind we're taking a look at the Striker's Sure Hand. This is a legendary power sword, it deals arc damage and even now this offers unique perks not available on any other swords in the game and because of some of the changes made it's even better than it was originally. Now in terms of the role that you'll want to be looking for, you'll want to be looking for something with tempered edge. This will give you plus 3 to your impact but also plus 10 to any ammo capacity and 10 to your magazine as well. Heavy Guard is the second column. This will give you a plus 80 to your stability and defense, plus 70 to your inventory size, plus 50 to your efficiency, and only a minus 10 to any charge times. From here, this is where the sword really comes into its own. If you have Tireless Blade, this is where sword ammo is granted for every other power sword kill, which is super useful. And the perk that really makes this weapon stand out is Surrounded. This weapon gains bonus damage when three or more enemies are in close proximity. And when you pair that, with a surrounded spec mod also available from ADA over in the Annex, then that further increases the benefits of surrounded whilst also providing a small lingering effect after a short period of time. So how do we chase down the god roll? Well first you'll need to buy the frame from Ada 1. To do this you'll need some ballistics logs. You'll get these as a reward for completing weekly bounties. There are two available and that will unlock two weapon frames for you to farm for that particular week. Once you've unlocked those weapon frames you can rebuy them using modulus reports and you'll need just six of those to pick up another frame. So if you don't get the roll you want first time, pick up the second one with modulus reports and you're good to go. Now once you've picked up the bounty you'll need to complete the first step which is fairly straightforward and it simply multi kills with swords it's easily done if you hop over onto mars and activate an escalation protocol you can do this in the first few minutes of landing from here you'll need to collect radiant seeds these are collected by defeating bosses or yellow bar enemies you can either collect these by defeating bosses in waves of escalation protocol if you're already on mars or by defeating high value targets who may be roaming the area once you've collected enough Radiant Seas, you'll collect a Radiant Matrix and it's with this we'll need to go back to Ada and she'll give us in return a Radiant Frame and it's this frame we simply need to take to the Forge to forge our new sword. So we know what the God Roll is and we know how to get this sword but why should we care? But with the recent changes this season to swords and some of the mods that have been made available over previous seasons, you can create some high DPS builds using these weapons. Now, if you use a powerful uppercut on this sword alone, this will deal 40,055 in damage. However, if you add a surrounded spec mod, this will now increase that by 35% up to 54,069. So a massive increase already. Now from here we can look at some mods from last season if we pick out the high energy fire mod from the season of dawn we can pair this with the surrounded spec mod and by delivering an uppercut this grants an additional 20 percent taking our overall damage to 64,882 per uppercut to further add to this we can also use things like the well of radiance or the weapons of light so if you use a weapons of light with surrounded spec high energy fire and deliver an uppercut this will now deliver 72,996 a further 12 and a half percent increase so if you take a look at the 40,055 we were originally dealing and we're now dealing 72,996 that's an 82.2 percent damage increase just by pairing these mods together now to put that into perspective if we look at the Izanagi's burden if we have a honed edge shot this will deliver 67,360 64 in damage which is just under four percent more than the sword can do with an uppercut however when you factor in the reload which prolongs its damage per second 
this means its overall damage per second is 22,454 and you'll need a crit in order to deliver that. With a fully loaded sword and three uppercuts that you can deliver in the same amount of time that the Izanagi takes to reload, the sword is able to deal 24,322 damage per second. So if you're going to be jumping into the Grandmaster Nightfalls and going to be taking out champions quickly and efficiently, be sure to check out the swords that are currently on offer in the game and be sure to check out the Striker's Shorthand as a way of being able to deliver optimal DPS in short spaces of time. So there we have it guys, that is the Striker's Shorthand, what I firmly believe to be the best legendary sword inside Destiny 2, so be sure to give it a try and let me know what sort of roles that you get in the comment section below. Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.